That was crap. That was garbage. This place sucks. Overreaction. Mondays. Monday. All right, Christopher, what do you got over hey, there? Hey, guys, what's up? We got a lot, so let's just go fast. Oh. All right, NFL draft. Here we go. Rich, I look at the betting odds. I know what they say. I believe them. Will Levis is going second overall. <laughs> Your current better favorite, he is minus money. No, but this is overreaction. Minus money. This is overreaction. It's not an overreaction to say that now. If you had given me this two weeks ago, that would have been an overreaction then. Now it's not. Well, Daniel Jeremiah said it's Daniel it's Jeremiah, Stroud. but he doing? he believes that C.J. Stroud is the better evaluation, and I don't believe Will Levis is going second overall. But it's not an overreaction to say that now because people are going crazy. The crazy thing is, like, what? How is C.J. Stroud now worse than Will Levis in the eyes of the Texans? When I guess they had to meet Will, or Will's put on you know more muscle on top of muscle and. You know? know? Do you buy into this uh, test score thing that's been going around oh, the last gosh. few days? Oh, gosh. That's the worst thing ever. That Stroud that out that of Stroud... 100 got an 18? Come on, man. That's that's kind of the latest buzz from the weekend. So you're not going to take him? Really? No, I watched the Georgia tape. Let me, I, I was about I would to say, when you, were, I, I would when take you him had number your one. heart in your throat, I would take him number were one. you thinking C.J. Stroud is not going to test well uh, uh, mentally uh, or academically? Don't care. And this is how I think I it's so ridiculous part of a story is here I am having an opportunity to take a shot at Ohio State not being as smart as you think, and I'm not taking it. <laughs> no, because he's awesome at football. Give me a break. I would take he him. should be second overall. I would take him number but one. But it's not an overreaction to say that Will Levis will be right now. What else you got over there? All right, here we go. Um, last year, as we said, there were nine trades in the first round, including that gigantic A.J. Brown trade. I think there's going to be at least another one of these. Shocking trade involving a star not named Aaron Rodgers. I'll agree with you. I'll agree with you. Not named Rodgers. Boy, why am I just looking at Derrick Henry? Although our buddy Akbar set things aflame about Derrick Henry going to the Eagles, and that is not happening as of this current airing. Um, I'll go with you, and I'll peg Derrick Henry being that guy. If he's if he's out there, why wouldn't you? You can't draft Derrick Henry in the first round of this draft. Let's see you miss on you miss on Bijan. I don't know, man. Who else would it be? Who would be? Is it DeAndre? Would it be Hopkins? Instead, who else would it be? Devin White? Is that big enough name for you? Um, what, if, what if some Lamar stuff is brewing? Lamar's not going anywhere. Buda Baker? He, uh, no that's not that's not up there with A.J. Brown, I don't think. Buda Baker is significant. I don't think he's going anywhere either. Um, I don't think he's going anywhere either. So we, I'll go we, with you. It's not these. an overreaction. The trade, the it's still, again, it may not happen, but it's still not an overreaction. What else, Chris? All right. One of the uh, quarterback names we see slipping uh, mock drafts, having him down in the 20s now is Anthony Richardson. I think that's bunk. It's going in the top five. <sighs> yeah. I still think quarterbacks go one, two, three, four. Just, but the, here's, here's the thing here, Chris, Then I think it just shows you how absolutely nutty this whole process is. At what point in this entire journey, from the combine to this moment, would Anthony Richardson being drafted in the top five be considered an overreaction? Not at any step of the way. But now here we are. And now it would be, based on everyone here, he's dropping, he's this, he's that. So this is not an overreaction. I think he will be still drafted in the top five. And I think that'll be shown in my uh, come at me mock draft tomorrow. Oh, oh. my come at me mock draft. I got to work on that tonight. Maybe in, be- in between innings of Cooper's uh, Little League game or in between serves of Xander's volleyball game that I got as soon as I'm done with this program. Anthony Richardson is the favorite to go fifth. So we'll see. Yeah, I think he's top five. So we'll I'll see. say that. How about this one? Yes, sir. CJ Stroud is going to go outside the top five. No way. That's an overreaction. This is nuts. Can we stop this nonsense? Get the hell out of here. Come on. Come on. He was so amazing against Georgia. He so is amazing. he is as good as they come coming out of college. I threw him I saw him throw at the combine. He was flipping it around. Like effortlessly and dropping it in buckets. Come on, everybody. I think the test stuff. He should be second scoop. overall. And the only reason why, you know, you might give you a pause is you're watching the Michigan tape. I think that's fair. Two years in a row. Yeah. Like uh, us being nominated. <laughs> hey, now.
What else you got over there, Chris? Bijan Robinson not going to make it past the Falcons at eight. Um, I don't think that's an overreaction either. Why would the Falcons pass on this kid? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Sarah will be so happy. Um, is he, he's on. Is, do, did we get him? We didn't get him. We're trying to get him for tomorrow's show. We got Will Anderson on tomorrow's show. Nice. Pardon me. We now have Bijan. Good. I want to meet him. I've heard nothing but amazing things about him. And if you're, if you're a, an evaluator, a coach, an owner in the NFL, this should be paramount to you. Paramount. That you love this kid, and you're going to send him all around your community. Stick him in the ATL. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Because you take a look at the rest London of their offseason moves. They, they hit the hell out of their defense. Load it up. Let's go. And you want it, You have to give Desmond Ritter the opportunity to show what he's doing. Then that's what you do. Yep. Okay. Big year for Kyle Pitts. Yeah. Kind of make a break for Mr. For Pitts. That, for that spot. Mr. Yeah. Pitts, right? <laughs> hey. Uh, how about this one? Uh, Peter King had it in his mock draft. Somebody we're not expecting is going to make a big move up for a quarterback. Say it again. Someone we're not expecting, a team we're not thinking about. Big move up for a quarterback. I don't know. Um, I'm going to say a team we're not expecting. That's an overreaction is what I'll say. I'll say that's an overreaction. And I think that we're not – uh, I'm going to go as Like part what if of the, Washington moves I'm, up or something? I, you know they, I, mean? I don't think so. I don't think Washington's moving up. I don't think – like would Minnesota – would you categorize Minnesota? Yeah, I think that would be not expecting. They're hoping somebody falls to them, but, you know, what if they move up? Baltimore? I'll, I'll go up. I'll, I'll, no, no way. No way. Uh, I, I don't think any of these guys are like, we have to move up from like the, the only one that you, they, that I think would merit moving up to go get to not expect them to do it. Like somebody in that not expected category is someone in the second round moving up to the back of the first to take hand and hooker and get a fifth year option on. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to be part of like, we, we're not evaluating the quarterbacks the, 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 in the media the same way that they are in the pros. But I still think Richardson's going to be the third quarterback off the board. I don't know. Feels good not to have to worry about a quarterback, man. <laughs> man. Well, mine's coming in the trade. That's what you think. And you his know. is going to be rehabilitated by Bill O'Brien, <laughs> who he slagged on for his evaluation as a coach and an evaluator from his Texan days he did, he did earlier on this that. program. Yeah, yeah, I, don't, I don't want him picking the groceries. I want him cooking the meal. You got one more? Got one more. Uh, you saw the, the picture of... Colorado Spring Game 2022. Yes, I did. Colorado Spring Game 2023. Prime yes. What was the big difference there? Deion Sanders, sir. Yeah, well, Coach he's going to be coaching in the NFL in three years. Yep. Three years. Um, I, I, I don't know about the NFL. I don't know. I, I honestly I haven't spoken nice. to him about that. If he wants to do that or not, I, I don't know if he wants to do that. I think he may love the kids. Yeah. I don't know. He may love the process. I don't know. He may get sick of it. But that's not an overreaction. And let me just say this. To all the schools that had a chance to get him. <laughs> right. And didn't. Putting his own Florida State. All the schools that thought he was maybe fugazi because he's just prime time. And he's not going to be. He's just. It's just window dressing. They may not win, you know, 10 games this year. They may not even be above 500, but what they're going to be is relevant, which is what you want them to be in year one when you are coming off of such a disaster. A disaster. So to all the schools that had a shot at Dion didn't get him. Oops. <laughs> You're bad. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Sorry, folks. <laughs> Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.